Tonight, we are doing a Keep 5, Cut 5 Disney Movie Edition. Just wait until you see the movies I cut. It's bad. Okay, welcome back. Your two favorite Disney podcasters are us. Us, and we're back. We're back. <laughs> we're back together again on another episode of uh, Magic Done Right. And I have my cerveza in hand. Did you not get any wine? No. Uh, hmm. Today, we're not talking about any resorts, any theme parks. We're talking Disney movies. And I kind of set my life up here a little bit. With this new game I've been seeing on TikTok a lot, uh, Keep 5, Cut 5, where I compile a list of 10 Disney movies, and she has to keep five movies and cut five movies. And we're talking, um, keeping them from, uh, cut, cutting them from existence. So let's say Oof. if it's Toy Story, you've got... We yeah, can't cut Toy Story, you're though. Cutting, you're cutting all the Toy Stories. If we you, can't. You're cutting anything that has to do with it. If there was a ride after it, if there was, I mean, Wow, anything, that's, that's steep. That's you're a cutting big, it out of existence. It's a big you know commitment. Yeah, so we're going to get right into it and see how many people you can make mad and upset by <laughs> cutting their favorite Disney movie. Um, I am glad this list <clears throat> is not for me because I wouldn't be too happy. Okay, here is the list. Ugh, um, it's my first time seeing it. Can I expand this? You picked bit? all the classic movies. There we go. It's going to be hard. So we have... I'll just run through them real quick for everybody. We have the OG Little Mermaid, OG Lion King, Frozen, Aladdin, Pocahontas. We have Beauty and the Beast, Toy Story, Lilo and Stitch, Dinosaur, and Monsters. <laughs> 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 through the kitchen sink at you with this one um i mean i have my five that for me i think it's easier than it is for you um because i know what i'd cut right away uh but i'm also a guy who grew up watching disney movies whereas i think being a girl little girl like growing up a lot more movies will the princesses yeah and the princesses but then all the boy quote unquote boy movies will also be awesome to you like the lion king's a toy story stuff True, like that yeah right all the 90s ones right. are hard. But I can immediately see the first one that I would cut. So, Hands all right. Down. Hang on. Hang on. Let's get... That looks a little bit better, I think. Make it a bit bigger. Yeah. Um, can I just guess... Are you going to cut first? Is that yeah. what you want to do? Yeah. Can I just guess what you're going to cut first? Yeah. Frozen. No. What? Frozen? Well, I thought all these other ones are, are like old school... Like no. classic Disney movies. Okay. There's a few of them that just stick out, just like eh. Okay, not what really. are you what are you cutting? I'm gonna definitely cut Lilo and Stitch. What? Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh man. Oh also, you guys can't see right now, but I'm marking the Daddy Mouse shirt. Okay, I got it custom made by this girl I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Lilo and Stitch is gone. Put an X on it. Shh, shh. There should be a cool little graphic X in there. Oh, we have our monitor with our daughter. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can we exit there with that pencil? No, no, no. I'm saying like, I have to go in and edit the video. Oh, before okay. We make, <laughs> make the text. What I thought we doing? could write on it with the We know who is the editor of the YouTube channel, as you can see. Um, okay, so we cut out Lilo and Stitch. Now, what's the what's the first keep? What's the easiest one? The easiest keep would have to be Toy Story. Mm. We're big Toy Story fans. I mean, the ride, the restaurant was even great. Woody's Roundup, right? Woody's I mean, Roundup Barbecue? Yeah, you rode the horse to the table. I rode the horse to the table. If you've never been to Woody's Roundup <laughs> Barbecue, they offer you, or they offer the kids, a little horse you can ride. And I think I asked them. No, they, the they lady said, you can ride the horse if you like. And then I turned around and you were riding the horse. And I was not expecting it. 
look, you put me in an environment and if everybody's doing it, like, you know, little silly things, I'm in. You know? I mean, you didn't just ride it for like a second. Like the you table. rode the horse all the way to the table. I rode that horse. So it's, you know, when Josh is coming around the mountain, <laughs> I, I, I was riding that horse all the way to the table and it was a blast. The food too. You think these big um, restaurants that cater more towards entertainment instead of more towards food, but perfectly balanced. It was a good bang for your buck. Yeah. Andy's coming. <laughs> okay, so we've we've cut Lilo and Stitch. You kept Toy Story. Yep. Who's getting the boot next? Next is going to have to be. It's gonna get hard here soon. Next would have to be Monsters Inc. I don't even know to tell you the truth if I've seen that movie from start to finish. Special shout out to the four people who watched the last episode. <laughs> with my laugh floor button. Okay, the this ride no longer exists. The ride's gone. No more Sully. No more Mike Wazowski. Everybody's gone. The ride was good. <clears throat> the movie, I don't think I've seen the whole thing. But what? when has the movie come out? I think I was like That's an old movie. I mean it's an older movie. It's I think like if, I was more grown up. If Toy Story was like old school where kids, I think Monsters Inc. came out probably in like two thousand let me guess if I look it up. 2000 and well, I'm going to go early. Four. I think I was too. I was past it by the time. So it really wasn't in my childhood. That's why I had to give it the boot. 2001. Yeah. Oh, man. It's more of an OG movie than I thought. I have a special Monsters, Inc. story. Remember I told you that? No. I did a lot of doodling as a kid. I drew a lot of monsters, a lot of cool stuff. I promise you my mom can attest to this. I had a book. And the one trip that my mom took me on, I took that book with me. And Monsters, Inc. was not out yet. And I lost it in Disney, in Magic Kingdom. Oh. And I, I swore as a kid that when this movie came out, that they found my book. And they and, wrote about and, it. And wrote about it and used the monsters out of it. It could be. Then we need those royalties <clears throat> for the check. movie. <laughs> Run us our money. Okay, so we've got uh, Lilo and Stitch gone, Toy Story kept. And then we booted Monsters, Inc. Who did that make mad? Don't dislike the video for it. Just leave a comment. <laughs> okay, who we keep it next? Next, we're going to keep The Little Mermaid. Hmm. It's hard for the keeps. I would have booted Little Mermaid. No way. Yeah. The only person I miss is Sebastian. Not Flounder? I mean, Flounder's the best character. I used to have a little bath toy with Flounder. I did too. It's squirted water? Yeah. You had the same bath toy? I did. Yeah, but Sebastian's a cooler character. Um disagree okay well agree to disagree lilo and stitch and monsters inc we could. monsters inc are gone toy story little mermaid we've kept now it gets i think now is really it starts to get hard no pocahontas no. you're out pocahontas is out so you cut mm. one to cut another one i cut it <laughs> Cut two in a row. No, I just kept the little mermaid. Oh, okay. You're yeah. right. You're right. All right. So Pocahontas is out. Pocahontas is name out. The, name, name the main uh the main character besides Pocahontas. Who's who's the white guy? John. The, the whitest name ever. <laughs> All I know is the song. <clears throat> just around the river bend. Just around the river bend. <laughs> Something like that. All right. I've never actually watched Pocahontas from start to finish either. I don't think. That movie I have watched from start Maybe to finish. Maybe I did like when I was a kid. See, that's why it has to be booted. There's nothing really memorable. Oh, I don't memorable. mind you booting Pocahontas. Pocahontas was gone for me, too. Um, okay. So the next keep would have to be... Come on. You've left one on here that's like... There's no Aladdin. Way. You're keeping... I... Okay, no, I, I agree. You should keep Aladdin, but like, there's just some left that I just can't wrap my head around. Okay, so Aladdin, you're, you're keeping... as. I mean, that's a great movie, man. That really is. It's a great movie. Aladdin is one of the best. I'm checking my mic because, God, if we got through this whole thing and never cut my <laughs> mic on. It would be an amateur move. Wow, we upload it anyway. So, Aladdin. Is out. Do you know, the, do you know the main uh, bad guy in Aladdin? Pop quiz. Come on. Jafar. Jafar. Come yeah. on. Good job. Good job. Who voiced Genie? I'm just drawing a blank. You're putting me on the spot. And I'm really drawing a blank. R.I.P. One of the best actors of all time. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. That's it. See, that helps you out. All right, so we kept Aladdin. 
So, oh, okay, let's, let's just stop for a second. What do we have left? We have Lion King, Frozen, Beauty and the Beast, and Dinosaur. Yep. We're booting one now. We're going to have to boot Dinosaur. The ride's gone. Yeah, the ride is gone. Ride's it was gone. a great ride. The movie was great, but again, it just wasn't a classic. We probably said Not My Dino 50,000 times. When was that movie released? That had to be released later. I think same time as Monsters, Inc. I'm pretty sure it's way early 2000s. I think it's later than Monsters, Inc. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. 2000. Wow. We know who knows their movies. That's a shocker. I know my movies. That's a shocker. movie buff. Um, You know what I think it is? Why I have such a attachment to the movie Dinosaur. I feel like it's the grown-up version of Land Before Time. Yeah, that was a great movie. And I think I see these dinosaurs. These they're cute. They got a story, and I just think of Land Before Time, and you know, it's nostalgic. Even though Dinosaur itself and its characters aren't nostalgic, Land Before Time is. I feel like that was the first DVD that I bought. Land Before Time. No, Dinosaur. Oh, sorry. We got our DVD player, and then I'm pretty sure that was the first DVD I bought. Fun you're, fact. You're really leaving a, a big fight on your hands for the end, aren't you? <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? No, I, I did. Was I supposed to put the ones I'm Are keeping in the best order? Purpose? I would don't turn so much. Every time you turn, you, you go away, you disappear. Actually, actually, if you cut this one movie, you can just turn <laughs> and stay turned. <laughs> There's no shot. Okay, so you cut dinosaur. You only have three movies left to keep. And hold on, you've kept what? Oh. You've kept Toy Story, you've kept Aladdin, and you've kept The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. Okay. You're so keeping, I have two left. You have two left to keep and one left to cut. So you're going to keep right now. I'm going to keep the, final the Lion King so you can relax. You should have left it. To I the didn't end. know the keep. I was was I supposed to put them in order from best to worst? I no, you don't have to. But like, oh, okay. to prevent there being like a, you know. Well, I did. That's why problem. I put Toy Story. <laughs> so we've kept the Lion King. Thank, thank you to thank thank Walt. <laughs> I think I think Walt because you can't cut the Lion King out. Aubrey and I just watched it this morning, actually. The whole thing? Not the whole thing, no. Who's your favorite Lion King character? Simba. What? That's so safe. Who's your favorite? Either Pumbaa or Zazu. Yeah, Pumbaa was on my list. Pumbaa's funny. I like when he farts. <laughs> oh, he was a reward hog. Pumba. Simba's just so cute. Timon and Pumba remind me of how like me and Derek used to be. Just two goofballs running through like whatever, you know. Mm. And I'm more hefty. <laughs> than Derek. All right. So Lion King safe. I could care less now about how the rest of this goes because I would have cut both these movies. So what are you what are you gonna what are you gonna do? You can either Say your keep or say your cut on this one since it's the last two. Yeah, Frozen um, versus Beauty and the Beast. It's definitely gonna be Frozen. I mean, I hate to cut the movie, but I have to keep Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Frozen. She's letting you go. <laughs> She's let you go. I just have to do it. Frozen have out. To keep the classics. Beauty and the Beast is left. What do you think about your list? You've kept the Lion, you've kept Little Mermaid, the Lion King, you've kept Aladdin, and you've kept Toy Story and Beauty and the Beast. I feel good about it. As soon as I it. saw the list, I knew boom, 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 which ones were gonna be off right away. Oh, you did like all five? Yeah. All five? Yeah. Wow. Do you want to know what I would have done? What? Can you guess? I promise you I won't change it. Let me get it real quick first. One, two, three. Four or five. This is the easiest list of all time for me. What you would have kept. What I would have kept, yeah. Okay, Lion King. Right. Toy Story. Right. Monsters, Inc. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Dinosaur. Yes. And Aladdin. You're right. Dang. Dang. Because Jeez. I had to cut all the girly movies. Well, I was back and forth between Monsters, Inc. and Lilo and Stitch. I do like Lilo wow. and Stitch. Wow. Yeah, Lilo and I Stitch. I just can't did get you, down with the. Did you know that ride used to be there? Yeah. Do you know what was, what, was, what was there before? I thought we rode that together. Lilo and Stitch? Yeah. Yeah, but did you ride Alien before? I mean, maybe. Alien I don't Encounter? Really remember. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying back in the day when you were a kid. 
I don't Shout out to the OG Disney goers who remember Alien Encounter. I think it was <laughs> Alien Encounter. Alien something. All I know is it was the same thing as Lilo and Stitch. The same little center glass, except it was an alien from the movie mm-hmm. in there. And I miss kind of when Disney involved with a little bit of adult themed rides like that where you're truly kind of scared. Yeah. You know? You don't get scared in the haunted mansion. <laughs> nah. No, and you know what really bums me out? My dad used to work in the haunted uh, house at the pavilion here in Myrtle Beach, uh-huh. and his job was to hide behind the door at the exit and jump out and scare you. He just jump out in regular work clothes, and and it would get everybody. Okay, so we're gonna remove this. Check out our background. Yeah, let's discuss the background real quick. If you look at the top right corner of your screen, you see magic done right, and you see a little dog. That dog's name is Aspen. And if you notice, our logo is made from our favorite ride at Disney. And (laughs) and a really, really iconic scene. Really really on my this this. Yeah, it's easier for (laughs) you. (laughs) I Um, tried. And the, the the text at the bottom says unlock the magic today. Because like we've said before, we are Disney travel planners, and we also plan universal trips. We've got some clients going on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Some clients clients just got back from Disney. Um, all free of charge, by the way. So shameless plug at the end of the video. <laughs> if you need free planning services, hit us up. But, yeah, that's where our logo comes from. Aspen's our dog who passed in 2018, and that's our way of incorporating her forever and what we will do you know probably for the rest of our lives we'll probably continue doing this whether we become successful whatever success is defined by or not we'll we'll keep on helping people because it's fun it is i really enjoy it i know you do we have a good time doing it so let us know below somebody anybody let me know your top five what you would cut and what you would keep yeah that list has got some questionable Huts, but I respect it. I respect it. All right. Well, all right. That's it. We will catch you on the next one. And please keep preparing. I've discussed this with you. We've got our deluxe resort war on our hands. We're going to have a few guests from our agency join us uh, and discuss. Well, we got to make sure everybody's got different, different resorts in mind. Yeah. Because we're having the battle of the, of the deluxe resorts. Which one is the best? And why they should all lose to the Wilderness Lodge. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if that's my favorite yet, but God, I love Wilderness Lodge. I just look it's back to all one, the resorts yeah. we've stayed in. And what's it's that so outdoor right. patio with that fire and mm-hmm. the bar right there? The restaurant was good. www.waltdisneyworld.com. Book our next trip. We got to get back. <laughs> Probably going to go back for um, Halloween this year. If we can. If we can. If Sounds we can. like a fun time. I need to call my agent. Oh, sorry. Someone's phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, of course, next time, we'll, um, I don't know what we're going to do besides the deluxe war, but we'll be on here again soon. We'll be up soon. All right. Have a magical rest of your evening. Bye. Morning, lunch, dinner. Like the video. <laughs> Subscribe, please. 26 subscribers so far. Thank you, guys. All right. Good night.